Hey guys, we're back with John Landon, and he is the director at Abilene Cooper, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how uh, what some of the things they got going on over there with their band program and the UIL competition that's coming up. And yes, sir. Thank you so much for taking time to sit with me today thank and for, for coming to us. our event. And yeah. uh, so, just tell us a little bit about how you feel about your band going into this this time of of uh, concert and sight reading UIL. Well, like most folks, uh, we at currently we're, we're we're kind of in the thick of it. And so right now we're just kind of isolating details and, 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 and um, making sure we have all those things buttoned up before uh, we host the event. We're actually hosting UIL oh, okay. this year. And awesome. so uh, we're really excited about that. We're, we're excited. Our kids are excited to be hosting it again this year. They used to host it quite a bit, and then we skipped a year. We had some new construction. We're excited about our new Bain Hall we got this year. Oh, wonderful. We get uh, a new indoor facility next year. and we're, we're just super pumped for all that. And so they're excited to be hosting events again and, and again we're just we're kind of in a good place uh, for now and, and we're excited to continue to push forward. Awesome. How many kids do you have in your band? Well in currently your varsity band. Cur well in the varsity band we have about uh, I would say 60. 60? Yes sir. Okay and, and then in your about 65 70 in the in the second band. Okay that's yeah. awesome. So, so tell us a little bit about the selections you guys have chosen for for your concert and sight reading this year and well, why you've chosen them. Yeah we uh we chose Trombone King as a march, and, and the reason we went with that is, is I wanted to build up our trombone section a little bit. I'm a trombone player myself. I was too. And, and it's one of those things that I wanted to, to make sure that we, we had, you know, challenged them a little bit this, this semester with, with something that'll, that'll get them going and get them excited. Okay. Um, just trying to build that section up a little bit. You know, I'm a big firm believer that we teach with our music, and, and, uh, and that, that piece specifically was picked to... Uh, challenge our, our trombones and our low brass section. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And so what about any other, you got two, that's one piece. You yes, got two yes. Other we, we picked uh, Appalachian Warning to feature uh, some of our woodwinds. We have some strength there that uh, I'd, I'm just giving melodic lines to them and, and giving some lines uh, that, you know, it's a beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to, to kind of challenge them and, but also at the same time just feature, hey, this is, these are some of our strengths. Um, we have a fantastic oboe player that we kind of put on different melodic lines uh, okay. to help out strengthen some of those lines, and it's really exciting to be able to, to, to let him shine. Um, we actually have two really good oboe players, uh, and we're, we're blessed to have that. And that so, is awesome. Uh, and then our, our third piece, um, you know, we one of the big strengths Cooper's always had, um, but since I've been here, the, the big strength that, that I saw as soon as I got here was our um, Mr. Stevenson has a fantastic um, percussion section. And so John Mackey, you know, most of his pieces are percussive heavy, and we picked uh, Undertow this year uh, to kind of feature them in, a, in, a, in certain sections. It gives them a lot to work on, uh, other than their solo ensembles and those, those, those types of things. Um, you know, they, they, they get challenged by this piece as well. Awesome. So. Okay, so given an opportunity to shamelessly promote the Cooper High Band, uh -huh. what would you want everyone to know? Well, um, you know, Cooper has a strong history with, with many fantastic directors in its history. Um, I, just, I just want everyone to know how hum, you know, thankful and humbled I am by, by being able to be part of that history. Um, I, I want everyone to know that th these guys work really hard. Okay. Um, they are committed to, what, you know, to, to serving not only just you know, the high school itself, but they serve the community. They, uh, our jazz band likes to go out and uh, we recently went out during Christmas time to, to various um, uh, uh, different, the, the elderly, uh, you know, visit some of the other elderly in different homes and stuff, and, and being able to play for folks and sharing our gift with others, that's what they love to do. That's so. great. Well, I appreciate you so much for mm -hmm. taking the time to stop in and visit with me today, yeah. John. And guys, I want you to support your local band. These directors are out there working hard to teach our kids music, and so anytime you see one of them, thank them for the job that they're doing because being a band director is a totally different animal than any other job that you might have in a school. So <laughs> yes. thanks so much. Thank you. It's all. one of the reasons why I can still remember even, you know, all of my first band directors because they made such an impact. So remember these guys are out there working really hard with your kids. So when you see them, thank them. John, thanks so much again for thank stopping you. in. Thank you. Thank you.